Alright guys, we are back. Welcome back to the stream. So let's see what it's uh, a day in the life of the goddess of magic Verena is like. She's got a fabulous walk first of all. Look at her hair. They really decked out this cave she's living in. My queen, my queen! I've just put the finishing touches on this statue of you. Oh my, how marvelous. You've really captured my likeness, dear. It's like I'm looking in a mirror. Thank you so much, my queen. Uncles were very disparaging of my work, so your words of encouragement mean a lot to me. If you really love it that much, I think I'll start a second one right away. If you'd like, but don't tire yourself out now. It's quite impressive, but... Do I always look this tired? The graphic design team really did a great job on my emblem. Heh <laughs> heh, not so killer now, huh, Ray? This isn't fair, brother. I'm using the inferior third party controller. Should have called dibs. Chabas only made you a few weeks ago. How do you boys already have opinions on these things? Father created us to be highly knowledgeable to aid in your conquering of Reverie. Uh-huh. I'm sure all this will be really crucial for the mission. You never know! Shouldn't you boys be out on patrol? We are on break, my queen. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, have fun. Hey, do you feel left out, Big B? Since you don't have hands. Not at all! My ability to manipulate air currents is more than adequate to simulate the fine motor skills required for gaming. Yeah, he already beat Ray twice, ha. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am, not now. Gaming. <laughs> Sorry, goddess, I'm in the middle of my video games. I must focus on the game right now, my queen. Father will be very disappointed to me if my win-loss ratio dips too low. Oh, hello, mother. I'm not... I already told you I'm not your mother. No, I didn't mean it like... Look, I'm sorry, I know you're still figuring things out. I just don't want you to get the wrong idea. Aunt, perhaps? Sure, fine. <laughs> uh, let me look at the TV, okay. <laughs> Very in control. <laughs> Ah, good morning, my queen. Or afternoon, I suppose. I apologize for your current accommodations being so rugged, but I'm pleased to report that progress on the palace continues smoothly. It's truly my most magnificent work to date. But please, no peeking just yet. These beast folk are strange, Jabez. Did you hear that instead of letting her succumb to mana poisoning, they actually healed Pana? Even after fighting her? Who? Paula, the polar bear. Our new recruit. Oh yes, that one. Am I going to have to get you one of those spinning children's toys that teach you the names of animals? I guaranteed that I would not retain that information, my queen. As for the beasts healing our recruit, probably some sort of trickery to lower our defenses. Or perhaps they wanted to send our disgraced commander back here as a show of power. Perhaps. They also took away the magic you so graciously gave her. That doesn't sound very benevolent to me. I mean, you, kn you knew that the magic was killing her. I'm still not so sure, Jarvis. Our opposition just isn't what I expected based on past experiences. I would still not underestimate them, my queen. But rest assured, whatever they are scheming, they'll be no match for my forces. Javis, the point is to let me test their strength. Yes, well, I wouldn't want to waste your time with unworthy challengers. I'll be screening them for you. Well, thank you for the chat, Javis. I'll let you get back to work. I think some fresh air will do me some good. Maybe I'll do a little sightseeing, see how my old haunts are doing. 
Oh, I'm not sure I would advise that, my queen. I worry that your personal attachments to this place will make this painful. I know. But I think it's time to rip that bandage off. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this place sure wasn't here a thousand years ago. The technology certainly seems a lot more modern. But is that thanks to my magic or just the passage of time? It seems as if the life has been completely sucked out of this land with magic, though. How dreadful. Wait, the elves here look... different. Why are they... Oh my god, is magic being used to raise the dead? This is too much. I need to go someplace else. Ah, my old gardens. Still as beautiful as ever, but it seems like they've seen better days. But if the gardens aren't ruins, then... Oh, come on, Verena. If you can't face this, then you're hopeless. Here goes nothing. What is this place? This... This is it. My old magic school. There's a lot of stars on the ground. It really was destroyed. Left in ruins since that day. This is where Zinnia... Where? I mean, of course this is the state it's in. Why did I allow myself to hope otherwise? God, why did I have to come back to this place? Oh! Hey, Ryan, thank you for the confetti. <laughs> Celebrating the death and destruction of all this. What the hell am I doing here? Stupid Verena, stupid. My queen, I was worried I'd find you here. Oh, I'm this sorry you have to see me like this, Jarvis. I thought I'd buried this pain deep down centuries ago, but it's all coming back to me like it was yesterday. No need to apologize. Permission to speak freely as a friend? Of course. You know you don't have to ask. You've always been a very giving person, Verena. You gave these people so much, just as you've given me so much. You took me in and allowed me to become your second in command. But you've come a long way since that fateful day we found each other in the void. You've grown stronger in spite of it all. I admire that in you. I worry, though, that returning here is making you regress. It's noble of you to want to give this planet a second chance, but these people have done nothing to deserve it. Look around you. Your kindness was wasted on this horrid world. You're... You're right, Javis. I wanted to believe that maybe, just maybe, what I did had improved this world after all in spite of everything. But it didn't. The world really did just use me and discard me. Because I let my guard down. I was soft. I won't make that mistake a second time. Thank you for your words of encouragement, Javis. Now come along. We've got preparations to make for the final phase of the plan. What happened here? So now that we're all here and we've had time to clear our heads, what's this idea you had? Okay. Let's cut to the chase. Uh, maybe, should I use- ah. God, these choices. I don't even know what the proposal is, so I'm gonna ease into it. Well, Claire and I got talking about Verena, and something seems off. Think about it. Verena had Green Ridge. Her side had already won, and she let us go. There were no casualties. They took no prisoners. All that effort, and they just left. Why? It seemed like they just did that to toy with us. This is all some big test, remember? That's what she said, but it doesn't sound anything like the Verena that Zinnia told us about. You think that Verena had other motives? 
We can sit here and debate Verena's motives all day, but where exactly are we going with this? This might sound crazy, but what if we were the ones to face Verena? But instead of fighting her, we just tried talking to her. Hmm. You know, she did have some valid points back there about the damage people have done with magic. It sounds like she wants to clean up the environment and stuff. That's common ground there. Exactly. After everything we've learned, I don't think she's out to cause harm for harm's sake. Jabas and his goons have been total menaces, though, and they're taking orders from Verena. I know. Maybe I'm being naive. But I think the Verena who bettered our lives with a single act of kindness is still in there. Zinnia knows her better than any of us, and she said that something bad happened that would explain why she feels this way. Zinnia, are you sure you can't tell us more? Believe me when I say it would only complicate things further. You're better off not knowing. Regardless, some people that have been hurt don't think they have a lot of options, and they need someone to reach out to them. If we do that, maybe she'll see there's no reason to be fighting in the first place. Zinnia, your take? I don't know what's happened to Verena since the incident. A lot can change in a thousand years, and I don't know why she's working with people like Jalvis and Paula. But I'd like to believe that she's still the same Verena I knew. I support this plan. Still, I don't know if you can avoid a fight. There's a whole army standing between you and Verena. Well, if it's a fight they want, it's a fight they'll get. We aren't going to rush headfirst into their base, Faith. We've got a few days. We'll keep training and we'll find the best gear we can. If we go unprepared, I think we stand the best chance of ending this. Jody? Maybe my word doesn't mean much to you at this point, but I trust their judgment on this, and I'm going to keep them safe. Well, it sounds like we've got a plan, then. Claire, as Guardian of Greenridge, I give you my blessing. I won't let you down, Faith. I just hope you hunch you this hunch you have about Verena is correct. Before you go, I got a few gifts for you that will help you with the task ahead. First, for Melody. I've trained many spellcasters over the years, and believe me when I say I know a talented healer when I see one. However, it seems like you have a lot on your plate. One of my signature spells should help clear your mind a bit in battle. Dragon's Cure. This spell consolidates your status restoring spells like Herbal Cure and Purify into one spell. Oh wow, thank you so much, Zinnia. I also want to give you this key. It will let you reach Verena on the tallest mountain in the island. Maybe that's that uh, passage we couldn't go through before. It opens some other specially marked doors where I've stashed items in case of emergency too. You'll find those all over. One door in particular guards something helpful for reaching new areas around the island. Seriously, we can't thank you enough for all your help here, Zinnia. Are you sure there isn't anything we can do to return a favor? Oh, I'm just doing my job, dear. Now, if you want to train, then I suggest you seek out more experience in the field. I'm sure there are people all over the Sapphire Islands who could use your help in a time like this. If the number of possibilities seem daunting, I'd bet a fortune teller could help na narrow down your options. If you want more training from me, though, feel free to talk to me anytime. I've got a little extra credit assignment for you if you're interested. But that's entirely up to you. For now, class is dismissed. Wait, what did everyone else get? Oh, I can change my paladin specialization if I want to. I'm I'm fine with mine. <laughs> but um Great. What does this room have? Can I go in here now? Welcome to my personal battle simulator. This should be the perfect place for you to practice. This room is able to magically morph to suit your needs, and it can also generate simulated foes for you to fight based on your memories. Just touch the crystals and you'll have rematches with possible foes you pre previously fought. It's only a simulation though, so if you change your mind, you can flee from these battles. This is incredible, Zinnia. Thanks for letting us use it. Yeah, no kidding. You just have this in your house? I mean, I've trained a lot of guardians. I'm not going to have them sparring in my living room. You know, if we had access to this place a few days ago, it probably would have solved a lot of problems. <sighs> You're never going to let me live the basement dungeon down, are you? 
Good to know. All right, well, I want to go look at that one door. There was a door down here. Kiss Allison again. Sorry, I'm just so happy about that. <laughs> Bruh. So it looks like we have a lot of quests that we can still do before the end of the game. Which is good, because I need to level up, it seems. learn new skills. Okay, so I know it was somewhere on this side of the cave, but um, it wasn't here. It was like somewhere on the, the right. But I guess maybe in the lower area of the right? Or is it over there? Is it here? No, this is where I came from. Poop. Okay. Maybe it was up here? No. No, actually, it was over here, wasn't it? Here it was. I knew I saw it somewhere. Fire pendant. And 4,000 gold. Sweet. So I think fire pendant probably gives me, like, a bonus against fire attacks. Converse all fire damage the wearer takes into healing, because it's red. That's how gemstones work, right? Perfect. I guess we'll just make our way out. Oh, actually, it'd be easier if we went up again. And then went to the green door. So I know I've seen that door, but were there any other doors that I've seen previously? I don't remember. I think this takes me back to Green Ridge, yeah.
Hi! That invasion was so much fun. I'm so glad I finally got to show off my special moves. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, Pep, but don't expect this to become a regular thing. Aww. Hey, do you guys think you guys can ask those villains to attack again so I can have another excuse to let loose? Well, uh, we'll think about it, Pepper. I love Pepper. Alright, so I think yeah, I have all these books already. Let's see what's on the quest board. Really? Damn it. So it's in the shop then. Ooh. The shield works, I swear. Oh wait, no, I got this stuff before. Okay, so nothing new there. They lied! So, when they said there's quests around that we can do, I can- I'm assuming that they meant the quests that, um, I've already done. Oh, sorry. Pfft. I didn't mean to talk to chat. I've already talked to you. I can go on up. I don't know, maybe Faith has something. So there might be a door in the vault that we can do. Because I think I saw one in the vault. So we're gonna look around and see if I can find it again. <laughs> oh wait, I have a map here. Hold on. Um, there was the question mark up there. I think it's that question mark. So it's on the first floor, but I have to make it to that room. So to do that, I need to go... So I start here. Okay, so I need to go to the library. Oh wait, I'm in the library. Part of the library, man? Oh, I'm on that part. And now I'm here? So I need to go... that way. And then all the way at this side, there should be- yep, there's the door. Ooh, three stuff. A dual wield pendant? That sounds awesome! Hold on. Let's see what that does. For when you want to smash stuff, replace the spellbook slot with an extra weapon slot. Ew. Okay. Hmm. Let me try that. Because I feel like she would get more out of that. Let's see what I can give her. Anything would boost her attacks. Um... I'm gonna go see if I can buy her another gauntlet, because that would really help with her defense, I think. And now that I know the maps are marked, or the, the special chests are marked as little square question marks that are pink, um, I could probably look for the other ones on the other maps that I have. Let me just leave. Let me go back to the shop and buy something for Allison really quick. Oh, maybe I should wait? I'll buy her something anyway. What if I buy her two of them? 
that she's extra. <laughs> she has one for each fist. Perfect. I think that's really good for her. Um, now let's see. Oh yeah, maps. Oh yeah, there was this treasure map. Did I do this? No, I did. There was a big question mark in Amber Woods. I guess we could uh, travel to investigate the Uncanny Valley because it doesn't say I need to go to the final battle. I just need to investigate it. So let's go look see. Yeah, there's another bolt there. Save here in case I want to go back a little bit easier. Oh, yep, that seems different. This seems different, all right. I think this is where that magic school place was. Maybe we can get some backstory information here. Wait, what? Is this what wizards did for fun before they had stuff like the internet or contact juggling balls? Just leave big cubes out in the woods? Is this a cube? This looks like a rectangle. Hey, don't knock it till you try it. The best wizards get up in the morning because they know even their most trivial actions will continue to perplex strangers long after they're gone. It's kind of like modern art. The actual purpose of this cube is less important than the fact that it's making us think. Oh god, yeah. Wizards love that stuff. Wizards are so mysterious. Yeah, this is definitely the place where the wizard was. Or where the where the magic tool was of the wizard. Let's do resilience just in case. And I will attack now. We'll need someone to do a kiss, so... Player will kiss this time. Alright, now Allison is super boosted. Oh my god, how many attacks does she have now? I gave her two weapons and now she's got all the attacks. Oh my god. She is so strong now. Bruh, stop binding Claire. You can't cast spells if you do that. Allison is so strong now <laughs> with her four attacks with that spell from Jody. Oh my god, this place is huge. What the? Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Do you see that? Oh. 
There was this entrance here and I never saw it before. This will probably come in handy. Yeah, an ancient key probably is useful. Let's try just boosting Allison just for funsies. Look at all the boosts we're gonna give Allison. <laughs> Nice dodge, Claire. Dead. She's so strong. Whoa, what the heck? Cerulean armor. Look at that ass, though. <laughs> and some flaming pinecone thing. Kissy, kissy. Bruh. Bruh. Ooh, nice attack, Allison. There we go. He's all- he's all wrinkly now. He deflated. Look at that poor guy. I feel kind of bad for him. Oh my god, he's shrinking. He's turning into a puddle. Oh no, what did we do? That was kind of mean of us, TBH. Oh well. Hey, you're in front of my chest. Cerulean armor and Misty Specter. Let's try this. Okay, so they're weak to lightning. That's good to know. Ow! Oh my god, that damage.
Ooh, so close. Bruh. in this chest now. Ooh, a wizard hat. Wait, can I have it on Claire? Please. Really? Why can't I put any wizard hat on? <laughs> Guardian has a cool hat. <laughs> Bruh. Well, I'll give it to myself then. If Claire doesn't want it. I love how specifically Claire does not get those hats. Even though it should be. It should be. She's like, nah, mine's cool enough. I don't need anything. I don't need any other hats. That's fair. Oh. Can I put the key in there? It's glowing neon blue. I don't trust that. I think that's pretty. It's probably supercharged with mana or electrolytes or something. What's so dangerous about a mana river? Aren't our bodies full of mana now? Your body's also full of blood, but if you saw a ripper of blood, you would, wouldn't want to take a sip, would you? I mean, no, but if he told me not to, I'd be a little tempted. Stop! Wait, let me try that key we found. A, a bridge! We didn't have to drink anything. Oh, and a door. Perfect. Now we unlock this route in the astral plane. Everything's working out for us. There's another one here. Okay, these flowers are really starting to get in the way now. We need to find a way to deal with these. I'm assuming that I finally get a way to deal with them here, because there was another passage in the woods that I couldn't get through because of those flowers. What the heck? Wow, this place is really something. I had no idea there was a sentiment like this in the valley. Can I help you? I don't know, can you? Well, the conversation is off to a great start. Ignore, my friend. Hi, we're the Novas. We're investigating the recent disturbances. Wait, we're called the Novas? I didn't agree to this name. What exactly is this place? My name is Noelle, and this is my sanctuary. This place was supposed to be a secret haven for the creatures of the forest that can't defend themselves against the supernatural entities out there. Of course, before long, adventurers came knocking on my door looking for a place to rest and trade wares. And I suppose I don't know how to say no. And I'm kind of surprised how many people are here since we need a key to get in. <sighs> Do they all have keys? I tell everyone not to make copies of their keys for their friends, but well, they do it anyway. There aren't usually this many people here at once, though. Everyone just needs a place to hunker down with the increased monster activity. Strange things have been happening here in the valley. Even stranger than usual. Which is exactly the problem we're trying to solve. Well, now that you're here, you're free to stay. But if you're able to lend a hand, I've got a bit of a problem I need help with. I will, of course, reward you for your efforts. Come talk to me when you've got a minute. Okay. Noelle's Sanctuary. Alright, sweet. Well, that's actually going to be where we end things, guys. So I'm going to save right here. Let's save right here. Oh, there's someone cool. I should talk to you. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's going to be it for Super Lesbian Animal RPG today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We will definitely come back to do some more exploring. Solve all the mysteries and talk things out at the end. We'll see. Things seem to be a little mysterious with the goddess of magic. 
But thankfully, like I said, I was able to get back together with my girlfriend before the end of this episode, and I call that an accomplishment. Well done. Anyway, guys, I'll come back to this um, not next week because next week's kind of crazy, um, but the week after, our schedule should be back to normal. Anyway, let's go ahead and switch over to the raid screen. This will be the last you see of Super Lesbian RPG for now at 92 Kisses. See you there. <laughs>